you know black folks and then this is for everybody you can always put it up all the trolls butt and everything like that about because we're going to zoom in on what we've got this is basically uh the back side of the Nehemiah station and basically it's kind of like the northern side of it okay because north is this way the interior of antarctica is that way and the the ocean just above it here just a, maybe not even more than a couple miles is out this way icebergs and stuff you'll normally see when they get the south camera now i mean the north camera now remember you're not really completely at the north at the south pole down there okay you're not completely at the south pole they're at the far northeast corner of antarctica okay so you can go look it up nehemiah station and everything like that and we've been there's been tons of people that have been on the internet looking at these webcams they're great webcams what no what's awesome is they're blocking the, the north camera because they're just showing you pictures. I ain't even gonna waste time showing it because that's all they're doing. So then hopefully eventually they'll start get a little pressure and start putting up what's actually being seen because no matter what, you figure that is your power to be or whatever, we always get nature, mother nature or whatever, ends up bleeding it through onto a man-made movie screen. Because the back side of the Nehemiah Station, I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit when we play it. But you can see the dark object that's up by, in, in between the sun and at the angle, at the South Pole and everything like that, that's shining down at, from space where sun, suns, suns, because they're all interwoven throughout the Milky Way galaxy. There's a lot more than just the sun, okay? So the actual factual, you get what the dark object or black light butterfly curvature light black light butterfly effect light curvature or object star black star or object no matter what is getting right there where my arrow is at on the back lower side of the Nehemiah station now what I'm going to do is I'm going to suck up real fast on we'll zoom in on it we'll go 400 and you'll see that it's just basically like a lot of objects in the shadows that we see down there from up by our closest solar system sun you're getting that there okay now I'll get up a little bit more we'll go 999 we'll customize and I'll be able to move one frame it should be able there's two frames you can catch it at because basically the sun comes up and then it's just luckily that it's high enough that it gets impregnated and you can pretty much see that it's a star uh, and it's light curvature and everything like that. Or it's a planetoid object. So no matter what, it is there. Okay, because it's not a uh, lens flare or anything like that. And this basically turns the whole back of the Nehemiah station. Now these are man-made. This is man-made here. This is man-made here. These are like vans. There's a generator system that's in here and a heating system or something like that because you can usually see the steam coming out up here out of the chimney normally. Okay. And actually you're probably seeing some of it a little bit even with a photo because that's why you get the little bit different pixelization because there's actually, you know, just like infrared cameras, it's the same technology. They just the pixels are arranged differently and you can pick up and read heat okay and then they basically if you've got a heat gun then certain colors are a certain heat and then usually the more intense heat the more color you have okay otherwise you're just usually seeing your object in a heat gun okay which gives you the temperatures I use heat guns when I'm doing electrical work to check transformers and so forth okay so that object right there is there for you Okay, so now what we can do is I'll go ahead and we'll use the magnifier last. So what I'll do is I'm going to go down and we'll stay at the size that I got and I'll find the toggle and I should be able to go ahead, I believe, one, I'm going to go, I'm going to step one step. So I'm going to go, we're going to go back up to the screen and we'll just go across and we'll be looking at the back of the station again. Okay, and then you get that. So I believe I'm going to end up going back. So we'll go over, bump, but I'm going to go back two clicks. And then either that or I'm going to end up going another click, like three ahead to be able to get to the next view of. Now I should not have a. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. It doesn't matter. We got what I wanted. And you end up getting it like this because basically the angle and the movement of that with the sun, the magnetical line gets longer on it here. Now, there's a good possibility that we might even be getting, you just got to go look at what whatever at this time on and I'll go up to the timestamp to the right and you could see whether and really don't think you're going to end up getting Mercury or Venus but it could be there could be a slight possibility that you are actually getting a, a, a shadow of that planetoid object okay so there's your time and your date stamp but no matter what that is between the Sun and Earth so we either get a, a good holographic, uh, just like a telescope, or a, a reflective telescope on the back of the station. Because basically, it says Nehemiah Station on the back here. Okay, whatever the, you know, I'll be able to show you that in a minute. But the sun is so bright that it basically, just like a movie projector, it shows and throws down what's actually up there. So... You know, just like a Boy Scout, you know, remember when you're sitting out in the tent when you're your kid and you hold the flashlight up and you make your own little movies, you know what I'm saying? So, no matter what, that is between Earth and the Sun. So, it could end up being right now at the angles, and then you got to remember that this is at the South Pole. So, what I'll do is I'm going to go down in size, so you can see it at this size, and I'll go ahead and go... 125 and you'll see this and then we'll, we'll go ahead and get the magnifier and it should be going back so you see see how it's near my station but the Sun has been coming up and I'll hurry up and I'll keep tapping here and you're probably gonna end up hearing it because they basically play with my audio because they know that I don't have my you know normal I, I'm just don't I don't have my headphones right now and I'm not worried about going and purchasing some because basically I get annoyed wearing them sometimes for a while so Right now what I'm doing is just basically going this way and you just have to put up with the noise. So as the sun and the super giants come up and everything like that and then you get the whammo, the light curvature that ends up hitting earth to give us sunlight in the in northern areas of the world for the day. Okay, And then I'll go back one or a couple, and then you see that it gets so bright that it just blocks out Nehemiah Station, that it says Nehemiah Station. I'll pop up real fast to 400, so if anybody's new to the site, it says Nehemiah Station on the back, and it's even got a black stripe. Boom. So the sun is so bright that all that light completely turns the back of the station into a movie screen. And then whammo, you get that. And then that was the after effect. So actually factually you get the massive movement of that within just the time frame that you're seeing and that's that there that I was up at earlier when I blew up okay and then we get up all the way to 999 on that and then you watch your clocks and stuff like that and see I always do the zoom and I don't go away from the screen and I show you that's what you got at 999 so no matter what, this star, so now I got a screen resolution of 999, and I'm just going to pump into it here with it, and as you can see, it's just barely on the lower edge of, the, of our movie screen on the back. As you can see, it really looks like we get an alignment of, you know, I mean, those are stars, okay? So we get a great view out into space, and basically you end up with a butterfly effect from that star alignment, you see? So... You have that right there, this blanging menu right between the eyeballs, the actual factual data. Okay? Nehemiah Station stamp and everything. Okay? That should go away here in a second. It's harder and heck for me to get a hold of and get away from uh, to having my mag. You know, I can't get my magnifier out of the way when I'm blowing up, but basically, you see that, and that's your light energy. And then if anybody wants to just say that that is the sun, well, there's a possibility. It's just a butterfly effect. That's correct. But the sun is huge. So no matter what, we're getting butterfly effect. And it, like I know, I know radioactivity. Okay. And then I know electricity. And it's all the same dog. Okay. You're getting cesium. 
Uh, you get skin cancer from sun. You can even get skin cancer from, i.e., Hollywood being in front of lights a lot. Okay, so the actual factual, that's what you got there. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, show you the fact that we're on showing you the actual factual scientific. And then I'll get down. We got $9.99. I'll pop down and I should be able to go back, I believe. And we'll take a look. Actually, I'm just going to have to not fight it and, and get it. It's easier to be able to view and see what I've got going on. And yeah, we, now I should be able to go up and I'll hit 9.99 again. We'll customize ourselves in. And actually, I'll pop in real fast because I can get 400. And then I can customize again and get our 9.99. And then we got the magnifier on the screen. And I'm punching the wrong key there for a second, so I'm human, and I don't I don't really do, do much, too much editing on my videos, so factual, actual, and then we'll zoom in on the corner of our movie screen because basically, uh, and you can even see some star action that blings on the pole down there in alignment. So there you go. So that's what you're getting out there in space. And you can see the star alignment. I can keep going up and you're going to see. I can't point with a hoot, but you've got an angle. Watch my cursor. It's somewhere on the screen and I'm going at an angle like this. But just above the black butterfly effect, light curvature, radioactive. See, you got radioactive star. Every star is radioactive out there. And then you get the, because uh, everything's different color, you see. So, and remember that bottom stripe is black, so the light curvature actually turns that stripe into black, and then where the light and the stars and everything, and you, you can see that there's even more down there. So it's all light curvature, it's all butterfly effect. There's tons of stars out there in space, and you get the light curvature and butterfly effect from those stars, and there is stuff between us and the sun. So. There's a very good possibility that you're seeing basically probably Mercury and Venus there. It's a dark action that you possibly might be seeing. High odds. It's hard to tell. But then again, it could, could be two giant, two or three giant super giants way the hell out in space. And uh, the light curvature is giving you the butterfly effect. But no matter what, that's what you're seeing on the bed. And then that's why we're not ending up seeing the shots from the south side of the station, which I'll go to real fast. I'll just give you. Uh, like a 125 here. I'll use their site. I'll go back to their site. I'll go down and click the bottom one and see they're just giving us photos down here. And you'll see they'll all be the same photo. They're not letting us see the north. They're not letting us see the north side shots. You see, they just give us that one shot. Because scientifically, you're, you'd be getting what their, you know, their, their info, that, because this is all a study down there. They're, they do fish down there underneath the ice, too. You see, they're studying the ice pack and everything. They have the kroll fish down there, which is pretty unique, honestly. You should get a chance to go look up kroll fish. Kind of unique looking. It's a very interesting fish that they're studying down there. And a lot of other, you know, stuff that they're studying. There's organisms, microbiology, uh, other fish that are down there. So it's very interesting if you got a scientific mind. Now that if you just have a simple mind of, you know, whatever your simpleness is and so this is the movie playing there and basically the fact I gotta go ahead and we'll pop back real fast because basically you're not gonna see much you're just gonna see what I ended up blowing up on the back side of the and that'll be the full play of it here pretty much in a second there comes the sun and the super giants up and then you get that on the back of the station and then so and then you see the full color of the back of the station and then we go back real fast and then I'll just go ahead and play the movie down here so you realize that they don't play the movie there either because this will load and it just won't play. They just give you frozen at that one one camera shot. And the other camera shot's kind of a waste of time. And this is kind of a waste of time too because, you know, factually they're not letting you see what that's going on there. So hopefully maybe enough people will pitch and moan, you know, email them. Give them some crap. We love their site, but what's the secret scientific that you're not letting us see from the north, from any, yeah, from the north camera? So I got to save some time. Well, here we go. It loaded. So now I'm going to just go ahead and show you the upper camera. It's just a zoomed in shot. See, it's just zoomed in closer. And then you can uh, you can see the station and then you can see that down below 